hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and here's a little video update on what's going on in the greenhouse so come on let's go in and see what's going on first of all Arigaron is looking super gorgeous I had to cut it back there so that I can close the door again because um, it's cool at nights now and I have Cattleya orchids in there so yeah I need to close up at night when I came back from holiday, this is the first thing I saw. This is Amaryllis belladonna and it's sending up buds. Three, looks like I'll get three flowers this year, so that's super. Uh, in Ireland, we generally tend to refer to the plant that's properly called Hippiastrum as Amaryllis, but this is the real Amaryllis belladonna. I still have a number of um, pelagonians on the step because they have white fly. But let's go into the greenhouse and see what's up. Now before I went away on holidays I took every single flower off every single pelagonium which really broke my heart. <laughs> but it was the best thing to do since they were only getting minimal watering while I was away and just to put a less stress on the plant. The only one that I didn't dis Dispod, is that the correct term for taking the flowers off? Is this one, Ardens, and that's in flower now. A lot of them have come back into flower now, so that's nice. Uh, Frangipani doing well back there. And surprise, surprise, Hymanthus nat natalensis or natalis, natalensis, I think. Now, Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's definitely too early for something that's called natalensis, but we won't knock it. This one flowered for me a couple of years ago, but hasn't, well, didn't last year, and I can't remember the year before that. So anyway, that's a good sign. But exciting, exciting, exciting. Check this out. It's my Hymanthus albifloss. This is the one I was giving out about in the um, South African bulbs video. Um, the fact that this has never flowered for me, despite being, you know, well over flowering size. I mean, look at the size of it. It's a monster. Now, I think what's going on here is that there are several bulbs in that pot. And this one is flowering. One of them is flowering. Whether the others might come or not, I don't know, but I'll be hopeful. Let's take a quick pop down here, although I've already made a, a video about the Cattleyas. But just to show you how it's going with the succulents, and I'll probably make a, a video update on my succulent babies and how they're doing. But they did not suffer at all from two weeks without water. Not a bother on them at all. The Proteas are all doing well. And look over here lots and lots of tomatoes coming some of them red as well now I don't grow the tomatoes I take no responsibility for that it's my husband who does the tomatoes but I'm very happy to eat them you know can you see that I think this epiphyllum has a bud on it now this one is night queen or queen of the night and um that's very exciting. I'd be looking forward to that. And finally, I thought I'd show you the outside of the greenhouse, the south facing side, the side I've never shown before. And um, actually, this is where I put all my plants in waiting. These are the plants that, well, they're mine and they're to go in the garden. I just haven't gotten around to um, planting them yet. And uh, this is full at any given time. I do admit it is full at any given time, but I do need to get on with some planting. I've got some nice things there. It's, don't don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't love them. It's just the moment hasn't yet come. That's a nice dahlia there. Species dahlia, Coccinia. I wonder what else I can show you quickly that um, that I haven't. There's that. Aeonium. Oops, maybe I haven't uploaded the video yet. Um, Lord Boot, Pelagonium Lord Boot, looking well in flower. And over here, my Albizia tree, summer chocolate. 
It's looking nice, but it's nothing compared to the gorgeous specimens I saw in France. Still got quite a, a, a wimpy trunk on it, but um, I'm very happy to have that. Brugmansius, got that one in flower, but um, you know, it's been very cold and wet here in Ireland this summer, so they, you know, those leaves are showing, showing signs of lack of heat, let's just say. Poor things, they picked the wrong owner bringing them here to this miserable cold country okay that's all for the moment thanks very much for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this greenhouse uh, update and there are other things i want to show you but you know don't want to make this video too long thanks very much bye now